why Sunday resets look different for everybody and maybe your reset day isn't even on a Sunday. I get Thursdays and Sundays off so I have a split weekend and I try to get a lot of my stuff done on Thursday and Friday, a lot of my cleaning. I edit videos, do my grocery shopping on those days so that Sundays I can spend doing absolutely nothing. I love watching the TikToks and the YouTube videos of people doing Sunday resets because they're just like getting things done, cleaning and grocery shopping and just being super productive. I also feel like for me that's not super realistic. I just want to spend my Sundays with Andrew doing all of the things that I love. So that's what we're going to do today. This is going to be kind of like a little self-care vlog and show you guys that it's literally different for everyone and don't feel bad if you are not super productive on days that other people are. I feel like a lot of times those types of videos can either motivate me or also make me feel like I am just not getting enough things done. Like I need to be doing something constantly, which is not really a good feeling to have. I'm always doing something. So I love having my Sundays to just relax. So this morning I, as you guys saw, I made my coffee. I watched a YouTube video. I showered this morning, got ready. It's just kind of a cloudy, rainy day again. It's a very cozy day. I actually need to make some dinner here. I'm making it in the crock pot. That's why I'm making dinner so early. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because it really helps support it. And let's get into this little self-care day. So this morning, I made a reel of my meal prepping and grocery shopping that I did on Friday, but I prepped some really good looking meals this week. So today we're gonna be making this honey garlic chicken in the crock pot. I'm very excited for this one. We haven't had it yet, so I'm gonna make that, put that together now. It also always has leftovers, and we're big leftovers people over here because it just makes our lives so much easier. While I cook, I love to listen to some music, so we're gonna listen to Romanticize Your Life. This is actually a playlist that I made a few months ago, and it's just very chill and relaxing. We have a little bit of a mess from this morning, so I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit and prep some dinner. lunch. I made this recipe for the first time yesterday and it is so good. So you're going to take a ciabatta roll. I just got these everything ones from Trader Joe's but you can also use regular and then cut it in half. Next I'm going to spread this vegan kale cashew basil pesto on top of it. This is also from Trader Joe's and you can just use regular pesto too but this one's actually really good and I'm not vegan or anything. I just really like it. And then you're gonna use some fresh mozzarella cheese. I got this mozzarella cheese log from Trader Joe's and it's already pre-sliced. Okay, and then we're gonna pop these in the air fryer. I put foil down at the bottom just so that it's a lot easier to clean. And you just put them in the air fryer at about 400 for five minutes. I cut up a few of these cherry tomatoes and I'm gonna throw them on top here. We're gonna put it back in the air fryer for probably a couple more minutes. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. So I'm just waiting for my lunch to cool, but look at how good this looks. But it's super hot when it comes out of the air fryer, so just be careful. While I wait for this to cool, I wanted to talk about The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I just finished this last night. Honestly, my review on this book is it's not my favorite favorite book that I've ever read. It wasn't horrible. The whole story of it was really sad. I felt like it was also a little bit slower paced, but I don't know. Everybody has their preference. This one has been super hyped up, but I kind of didn't really enjoy this one as much as some of the other books. I actually have Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover on hold at the library, but it has not gotten there yet. So I'm still waiting and I think I'm gonna go on my computer and see if they have any books at the library that's closest by available because whenever I finish a book, I feel so empty. It's kind of like finishing a TV series. You just like don't know what to do with yourself. So I'm excited and ready to start a new book, but I don't have one yet. So we're gonna look on the library website. Okay, 
We just got back from a little outing to the library. I ended up going to Tropical Smoothie, which I wanted to go to a local smoothie and juice bar that I've been wanting to try out, but they were closed today. So we ended up going to Tropical Smoothie and I got the Island Green or the Detox Island Green Smoothie because it doesn't have all of the sugar that they usually put in their smoothies. And then I went to the library. I ended up getting the Winter in Paradise book. And then they also had the second book in that series. So it's a series of three books. So I decided to get the first two because it looks like they're actually pretty short books. The font in it is pretty large. So I feel like I'm going to be able to go through this one pretty quickly. So I just decided to pick up the second one also. And then while we were there, I saw the books for sale section. They sell books for like 50 cents or a dollar. I picked up The Silent Patient, which is also on my to be read book list. I'm very excited about this one. I've heard lots of good things about all of these books, but especially this one. I feel like this one was super popular for a bit. A little bit out of the genre that I read, I typically read like romance books and this one's more of a mystery thriller book, but I'm excited to read it. And that's it from our outing. I'm going to just relax for a little bit. <music> up all the dishes and everything so I'm ready to unwind for the day. I feel like our dinner was it was good but it tasted a lot like barbecue chicken. I feel like next time we would maybe add a little bit more sriracha and I feel like the tomato paste is what made it taste a little bit more like barbecue but the recipe overall was still really good. It's good enough that we're gonna have it for leftovers tomorrow. I'll put the recipe in the description in case you guys want to make it also but after dinner I always have a sweet tooth and I crave some Something sweet. So we're gonna have some ice cream. I actually just got these ice cream sandwiches from Trader Joe's this week and tried it for the first time the other day. So I know that they're already really good. These are the oat non-dairy ice cream sandwiches. These are a new item. They're just these little small ones, but I feel like one is the perfect size. Two is actually a serving, but I feel like this was just enough for me and it tasted just like a regular ice cream sandwich. It was really good, really sweet, definitely satisfies your sweet tooth, but you can taste like a little bit of the oat flavor, but it didn't really bother me. So if you're a non-dairy person, you definitely have to try these, they're so good. And then I think I'm just going to unwind for the evening, take my makeup off, get into some comfier clothes, start my new book, kind of just relax for the rest of the night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all next time.